So what can you expect to see if you get into your engine and you've got some sort of failure? Um, just kind of going over the pieces that we've got here and, and what happens with them when they fail. Um, you could have a situation where your engine overheated and you might see on the piston skirt you've got scoring or the metal has come off the piston skirt and adhered to the liner. Um, you could see uh, sometimes on the bottom of the piston crown uh, if your piston cooling nozzle is not pointed in the right direction or not supplying enough oil, you could see overheating in the bottom of the piston crown. Um, if you get to a situation where you've got an injector uh, that is malfunctioning, uh, you can have everything from scored cylinders to uh, eroded pistons. You may see that the top of the piston is, is completely eroded and melted. Um, when you get into uh, lack of lubrication, you can get into a situation where the wrist pin no longer uh, is lubricated and it uh, tears up the bearings and not only the piston crown, but the, the bushing and the top of the piston, uh, the connecting rod. Um, you may see uh, rings, uh, you may see rings are broken, uh, which is easy to see. Uh, a little bit less easy to determine is if a ring has just, uh, has just worn out and uh, come to the end of its useful life. Um, with a cylinder liner, you may see anything from uh, a glazed cylinder where the cross hatch is no longer good. Uh, it looks like a mirror finish in there. The rings can't seal to it anymore. Um, you may see that you've got a liner O-ring that has failed, allowing coolant to get into your engine oil. You may also see where you got liner cavitation. Liner cavitation will occur in this area of the liner and uh, the coolant will actually erode all the way through to the inside of the liner, allowing coolant to get into your uh, oil pan. And those are just a few of the things that you may find that go wrong with your, uh, with your engine that you may see when you get in there. And those are signs that uh, you need a in-frame overhaul kit or an out-of-frame overhaul kit. So if you find that you've got coolant in your engine oil, a lot of times the problem's gonna be found in the lower O-rings of the cylinder liner or liner cavitation. When you overhaul your engine, putting a new liner, new liner O-rings back in the engine is gonna solve that problem. So here's another sign that you may need an overhaul on your engine. With the Caterpillar engines, uh, they're a little bit unique in the fact that the cylinder liner sits right on top of the block. And if you can imagine this, uh, this flange where it sits on top of the block, this liner moves in the engine as it's running. And a lot of times you may find that uh, you think you just got a blown head gasket and you take the head off and put a head gasket on and go down the road and 60,000 miles later, you got another blown head gasket and you can't quite figure out what's going on. One of the things that happens when that liner moves in the block as that engine's running is this liner will actually wear on the bottom flange and on the top of the block and that liner will drop down and it releases tension on the head gasket and it blows the head gasket. Unfortunately when it blows the head gasket it puts air into the cooling system in the cylinder head and severely overheats the cylinder head and a lot of times you'll find you got cracks between the exhaust valves on the Caterpillars. Um, one of the things that you need to do to fix that right is uh, put new liners in the block that have a perfectly good surface here and then you'll need to take the block and uh, have the counter bore cut on the block. Uh, they, they insert, these are going to be stainless steel shims that will be inserted into the top of the block after you cut the counter bores. They come in 32 thousandths and 63 thousandths. Um, they are gonna be the, uh, the foundation for your liner when you put that back in the block. So if you put it back in the block with stainless steel shims, cut counter bores, and a perfectly good uh, surface on your liner flange, that's gonna take care of your blown head gasket issues, combustion in the cooling system, and those type of issues. Um, and that's the right way to, uh, to fix the problem with the Caterpillar engines. So if your engine is using excessive engine oil, you've got high blow-by, uh, your oil consumption is through the roof, 
Um, what you got going on most likely is liner to piston ring sealing problems. Um, an overhaul kit will solve that problem by putting new rings and new liners, which will give you a perfect sealing surface to reduce your oil consumption and get that power back. At Highway and Heavy Parts, our mission is to take the risk out of buying diesel engine parts by selling only quality, reputable parts to make sure you're getting the best option for your engine. If you have any questions about Highway and Heavy Parts or our parts, you can call us at 844-447-1453 or one of our ASC certified parts technicians or other specialists will be pleased to assist you. You can also chat with us online at highwayandheavyparts.com. Be sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button on YouTube and Facebook to stay up to date on all news and information from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.